If someone was to ask you, what is the best thing in the world? I think many people would go different routes. I think you would have some people that would be like, oh yeah, that pizza down by Jimmy's restaurant on 13. Yeah, it's a great, great thing. It's one of the best things in the world. Other people might go with like a family member saying like, my mom is the best thing in the world. And then you have me. Where I say one of the best things in the world is a hot shower. Not like a scalding hot, but you know, just one of those that kind of just runs over you like a nice liquid warm blanket that just makes you feel like everything's right with the world. Those are just nice. And I just had one of those. And the one thing that's really nice about liquid hot showers, as if they would come in any other form, is the shower thoughts. No joke, this show was pretty much developed in a shower like coming to where it is now and pretty much the whole channel itself has slowly been a collaboration of shower thoughts it's... <sighs> that's probably why i don't have any subscribers <laughs> um but yeah it's it's just nice because when i'm in the shower i'm thinking oh this is a really good shower and then where does that go this goes hey you should make this your monologue. And you want to know something? I said, screw it. So I made it the monologue. And this cat, by the way, he wasn't here when I was originally going to start recording. But as soon as the camera shutter like went off when I started recording, he came running from like the other side of the house. He knows damn well to get off the keyboard, okay? This is the second time I've had to start this because you ruined the audio the first time. So stay off the keyboard. It's not that hard. Oh, God. I love him so much. But the amount of times he has stopped the recording of this audio and how much I thrive for quality in this stuff and the amount of times that you make this job so hard for me to do. Do you realize what you do to me? You make me freaking sad. You... This is the fat and happy show, everybody. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome back, everybody, to Fat and Happy Show. Come on in, take off your pants, and have yourself a bowl of cereal for this thorough Thursday, I think is what we're going with. I don't know. Just, you need your milk, and you need to get the hell out of here. No joke. Love this cat. Best cat in the world, like, for the most part. But the amount of times I have scooted my keyboard way back, as far back as I can, and it doesn't matter. He will still pause the recordings. But that is besides the point. Today is Thursday. Today is a great day, hopefully for you guys. And I'm thinking next week I'm probably going to go back to the afternoon uploads. It doesn't seem like there's been an improvement at all. So I'll, I'm going to keep trying to see if I can find when that key time is. I'm thinking maybe 3 p.m. when people are getting off work, so that way they can like kind of enjoy their dinner with the show. I don't know. Something like that. We'll figure it out. But as for today, we need to go ahead and get into those holidays of today, where today is kind of lit. A little bit lit. It's not as lit as that one day. Jesus. Where you're having a freaking... You're having a party with the alien, having the monkey over for lunch, and you got chips and beer. It's doesn't get better than that. But no, today we have to start off with, is it hot enough for you today? Or yes. Yes, it is hot enough for me. I have the air conditioner running. Thank God that I have one. Yes, it is too hot outside for me. But that evolves into National Refreshment Day. So I'm to battle that heat, which is absolutely lovely. No, 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 not only that, we go on to Vanilla Ice Cream Day. Which is perfect for a hot day with your refreshment. And what goes really good with vanilla ice cream? But Sprinkles Day. Oh my god. It's like they were all made to go together on the same day. It's beautiful. It's a match made in heaven. Hot day with a refreshment. Ice cream sprinkles. What more could you possibly want? Except for the ice cream and sprinkles is nothing but carbs. And pretty much any refreshment is going to have carbs in it, unfortunately. But beyond that, we have some bad news slash 
good news to me. It's bad news and good news. I'm just going to put it under the bad news because I didn't really have any bad news today. So the bad news is, is that masks are now required in the state of Indiana. I think there's a couple other states with these restrictions as well. But for here in Indiana, masks have officially become very much legal that you have to have them on if you're going out into a public space and you can't do social distancing. So what does this mean? It means if you go out in public and you do not have a mask on, you are going to be labeled as a Class B misdemeanor. What's a Class B misdemeanor? Glad you asked. What it is, is it is up to $1,000 and I believe up to 90 days in jail. All for not wearing a mask. So just put it on. Just put it on. It's stupid, okay? It's a mask. Just put it on. You can be as healthy as you want. Just put on the damn mask. And if you don't want to put on the mask, what do you do? You call up your local grocery store, say, do you have curbside pickup? And if they do, congratulations. Order online and do that. Okay? It's not that big of a deal. This is a pot. This is the beginning of the end for everybody, apparently. So... Nah, wash your hands. Let's make that let's make that a permanent lock. You gotta wash your hands if you go to the bathroom. But in some good news today, and it's a very heartwarming story, we have a Harvard acceptance student. Now, originally this student was a terrible student. He wasn't able to pass any of his classes, hardly even got through high school. But that all changed when he got a job as a trash collector. When he was doing this trash collecting, he made friends with other people who were kind of failures but they encouraged him to go ahead and go back to school finish up go to college get transferred to another college because he did so well graduated from that college with like top honors even got a like a commencement speech and then even after that he was like i want more So what more could you want but Harvard Law College? And he got accepted. And a GoFundMe was even set up for this lad to be able to go ahead and get in at basically no cost to him. So this is absolutely a heartwarming story for him, basically because in there, he ended up losing his dad. And when you lose your dad, your life kind of crumbles apart. So with the family not having an income, he actually had to not go back to college and ended up having to go back to trash collecting to support his family. It's very much a poverty situation where he was had it rough growing up and he made the best out of a bad situation where he fought hard and eventually achieved greatness. It is a thing that Hollywood would make a movie on. We'll just wait five years and it'll come out. A very, very good story. Congratulations to him. Hopefully he does well in Harvard and hopefully he does some law stuff that'll actually encourage society to become better. But now that we have that stupid news out of the way, how about we get to a dad joke where the dad joke is just a simple question. Okay, so let me ask you this. When a woman is giving birth, is she actually kidding? The better question is, are you? These are the questions we need to be asking ourselves, people. When a woman is giving birth, is she kidding? Correct answer, yes. She is absolutely kidding. But you know what's not kidding is the pet photo of the day where we have mystery names. I love mystery names. I've already picked out the names for this one. And they're two very, very, very cute kitties. Absolutely look like brothers if I had to take a guess. And with that, we are going to go ahead and call them Snooty and Booty. Because you want to know something? I would love to have a cat that's named Booty. Like, here, Booty! Here, Booty, 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 Booty! Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. I was actually wondering if Milo would come to that, but apparently he knows his name. That's fortunate. And you know what else is fortunate? The two cents moment of the day. Now is the part of the show where Kyle gives his two cents. Nothing quite irks me in the world like lying. People lie all the time, and it can be about the simplest of things. Well, I know you carried that last week. No, we didn't, madam. In fact, we haven't carried that item in a long time. I would know. I work here. Things like that. Why are you just like, you don't know. You just think that you know. 
just to try and get something out of me that I can't provide. <laughs> but lying can go way beyond that. Oh no. Lying can be used to try and get sympathy for things, and then you can try and get items from that sympathy. Lying is only a snowball rolling down a hill. And eventually, once that snowball reaches a bigger size, it has to crash into something. And usually, it's you. So, next time that you want to try a lie, think about that snowball coming for you later down the road. It'll come for you. It always does. And just saying, it always does. And usually me on the sidelines here, I can watch a lie happen. And then I watch the snowball build and build and build and build and build. And then I watch it crash into somebody. And then I'm just like, shouldn't have lied. Yeah, got caught, caught in the lie. Silly people. But, alas, I will tell you this much. This is no lie. That this is going to do it for this episode of the Fat and Happy Show, everybody. Thank you for sharing. I've had a group of people share and introduce the show to some new people. Absolutely appreciate that so much. If you like the show, please do give it a like or subscribe if you wish. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow for a fabulous Friday episode. Good morning and a good night.